Kim. Kim writes in, uh, I was a follower of MacCast from very early on. And mm. back when uh, uh, Adam was doing three shows a week. Ow, Adam. What are you, nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I started I at five. <laughs> here and really enjoy the energy. And Adam sounds a lot happier. Well, I hope so. Uh, question. What would you recommend as a plug-in switch to replace a Wemo switch, but that works with HomeKit? And the same question for a replacement for a Wemo wall switch. Wemo drives me nuts by suddenly, for no apparent reason, requiring me to log in in the middle of the night to turn off my night fan. I'm tired of being infuriated by this, and I hope HomeKit or associated gear will not be so user unfriendly. From uh, a guy named Kim. A guy named Kim. Yeah, I love Kim. He not was a, a longtime contributor to the MacCast, <laughs> and I'm glad to have him over here. Um, yeah. yeah, so... You know, you guys might have different options or opinions. Uh, I am a huge fan of any products that don't require me to buy a separate like hub thing. Yeah. Um, so I, I love iDevices products. I had iDevices wall switches in my old house, um, and they do make a um, a plug-in thing, HomeKit compatible, and no need for any kind of uh, extra gear. They are more expensive because of it. Um, I also used like LifeX bulbs for the same reason, and they tend to be more expensive because you don't need the hub. So uh, I just find them easier and convenient, and they were rock solid. Um, I had, before this, I had uh, some other I can't remember, not the Lutrons, the whatever the first company that came out with support for HomeKit, um, and their stuff was garbage. Oh, e uh, Eve, you mean? Huh? No, 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 no Eve no, was no. good. Yeah. This would no. This was. Uh, I I'm blanking on the name of the stuff because okay, it was just junk. It. But yeah, it required it required a hub, and then then what really the straw that broke the camel's back was the version they came out with supported HomeKit, and then it was really buggy and junky, and so then they came out with a new hub that was the HomeKit oh, hub. Amazing. Yeah. So it's like I, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't you Phillips know, it never either. occurred to me. You I, just had it up there, Dave, in in the screen, and it never even occurred to me that there were already smart outlets. Of course, oh, there yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. in wall ones. Yeah. Yeah. In wall, -wall outlet. outlet. Um, yep. That's yep. iDevices has those too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But they so also do make be, the little plug in one. I've I've become a big fan. If you want HomeKit stuff, uh, the Maros uh, devices have. I've got a couple of their outlets now. And uh, obviously their garage door opener, which I've mentioned on a recent episode, but they've, they've really got, um, you know, I, I don't think they have the in wall outlets, at least not that I've seen, but the, the, um, you, you know, the, plug, the, plug the, one yeah, in, the plug in a, outlets, yeah. the switches, all that stuff. Um, uh, okay. if home kit is not important to you, but your budget is then wise W Y Z E would be another place to go. Oh yeah. Uh, a big fan of, of their mm -hmm. stuff it's very affordably priced and um nice yeah and and works works really well so uh, okay yep 